Today's video is going to talk about the excision of a cutaneous lesion. This has come up a couple of times in the exam, so you need to be confident at it to achieve it in the time allotted. The first thing to do is to treat this like any other surgical procedure. So make sure that you've checked your patient, both their identity and their consent form, like any WHO checklist. You then need to make sure you've got all the equipment you need for the procedure. That includes a scalpel, equipment for suturing, and skin prep. The other thing you may or may not need is a pen to mark out your incision. If there's one available, I would always use one. Having checked that it's the appropriate patient, you need to make sure that they're appropriately anaesthetised, either under a general anaesthetic or local anaesthetic. Local anaesthetic infiltration is covered in another video, but you need to make sure they're appropriately anaesthetised. If it's local anaesthetic, use your tooth forceps to check that the block is working. Then mark out your incision. It wants to be an elliptical incision and you need to think that it's going to be 1.5 to 3 times the width. So with your appropriately checked and anaesthetised patient, you can now prepare your sterile field. Here we're going to use some chlorhexidine prep to clean the area. While that's drying, you can get the rest of your equipment ready. You can now begin the procedure. The important thing is your sharps handling. There are two ways to hold a scalpel, either like a pen or like this. For fine work, I recommend holding it like a pen. Think about the layers you're going through as you make your incision. You don't want to go too deep or too shallow, but you do need to make sure that you get the whole lesion. Once you've made your incision, you can then begin to remove the lesion. Having excised the lesion in full, you need to send that for the appropriate histology. You may, if you wish, place a marker stitch, such as a non-absorbable monofilament, at one end of the lesion, so that you might say marker stitch at most distal or proximal end. That's entirely up to you. You then, if you have the time, should close the wound in an appropriate fashion. For me, I'm going to use vertical mattress sutures with a monofilament, non-absorbable stitch. Having closed your wound in an appropriate manner and sent your lesion for histology, dispose of your sharps in a safe way. Apply a clean, dry dressing to the wound if one is available and give the patient advice, saying that their stitches will need to be taken out in 10 to 14 days and you'll see them in clinic with the results of their histology, which should be ready in, again, about 10 to 14 days at the latest.